It seems the aspiring heroes of Baldur's Gate have backed themselves into a rather uncomfortable corner. Listen. Tune your minds beyond the frequency of the prism's psychic collapse, and you can hear the sonorous metronomic tick before the final talk. The world's clock is winding down. The grand finale has arrived, my friends, and thanks to you, I have a ringside seat. How undignified. I prefer business to begging. You have brought yourself low. I have been more than generous in my dealings with you. And if you'd only listened, the brain would be dead. And you'd be sampling the contents of my wine cellar, even now. We could have been allies, partners, friends! But that's all done with. Now I dictate the terms and you agree to them. Master and vassal. No more negotiations! You're going to do exactly what I tell you to, or in mere moments, the thing you've dreaded will finally come to pass. The city will burn, your world will die, but you will persist. A gray shadow, without beauty, without heart, without self. Dwelling in the ashes of dead worlds, or in the space between stars, you will wander. Endless. One among billions. A survivor. A remnant. An illithid. That may be. When the screaming stops and your mind is gone, the rest, perhaps, is silence. Refuse me! And you'll soon know for sure. He's telling the truth. You've never been more sure of anything. Save yourself. I provide the Orphic Hammer with which you can free Prince Orpheus. And when the brain is defeated, you seize the crown and give it to me. Refuse! And I'll take your souls instead. You don't need to like it. You're doing the right thing. and follow his lead. Then, give that nether brain hell. I'll come to collect the crown when you've triumphed. <laughs> 